wanted to post a quick video showing the uh, calibration settings that I use for the Optoma UHD 40. Um, I'll just get those up. So I've got the remote control in front of me here. And get the menu up. So if we zoom in a little bit, you should see that just nicely. Let's focus on that. So we go over to image settings. Aspect ratio, just very quickly, um, is on auto, edge mask zero, digital zoom zero, I've got keystone at zero, I've got everything set up. So there's no distortion in terms of what Keystone is doing because it tends to degrade the image and I've got everything sort of set up so it's as as good as it can be in terms of where the image is sat. Um, now in terms of the settings themselves, in terms of um, the coloration and everything, we have the display mode set at cinema. Let's get that back up. Display mode set at cinema. Wall color is off. Um, depending on whether you're using a a, um, a that's annoying. Come on, um, a screen or a um, you know a, a painted wall or or anything like that, you can set the wall color to there but if you're using a screen you know like I am you have it set to off um, dynamic range we set at auto because we want it to find in terms of like Netflix and Xbox One X and so on and PlayStation Pro and and uh, Blu-ray 4k um, uh, videos discs sounding ancient right now um, you set that at auto so it comes up um, automatically you don't really want to fiddle with that because it tends to faff around um, and then you have to sort of set it for everything that you're watching I found brightness at 2 is good contrast minus 3 it gets rid of washy blacks putting at that sharpness I put at 10 predominantly because uh, m most of the content I'm still watching is HD and the UHD 40 is upscaling it to 4k so it just adds that little bit of extra sharpness color I put at 19 tint at 0 um, the gamma I've set at film because that's predominantly what I watch and that's what most people would watch I would imagine color settings I've set brilliant color at 10 Color temperature, I think, was at the standard, which is D65. Color gamma at cinema, and it automatically sets these, so leave those as they are. Um, color space at auto, so if we go back. Ultra detail, I've just sort of set that at two, and dynamic black on. Dynamic black is kind of a key thing. Um, it really does quite make, make quite a difference. Um, so those are the settings. Uh, we'll go through them very quickly again. So display mode set at cinema, wall color off because I'm using a screen, dynamic range set to auto, brightness at 2, contrast minus 3, sharpness 10, color 19, tint at 0, gamma I've set to film, the color settings set to brilliant color at 10, color gamma at cinema, on color space at auto, ultra detail at 2, and dynamic black. So those are the key things that I have it set at. Um, I've also got it set at brightness mode at bright, um, but I think because I'm currently watching um, some Prime um, and it's showing content, it's not allowing me to adjust that. But if you, you should be able to adjust that. So those are the things that I have it set at. That's for the Coptoma UHD 40. Um, and as you can see, um, my phone's probably adding a bit of extra coloration to it and pumping the colors, pushing the colors a little bit because that's what Samsung tends to do. Uh, but overall, 
you know, for the for movies that I watch, um, and I watch a lot of streaming movies, and I watch a lot of 4K movies, and also on Blu-ray 4K as well, uh, it does a really good job. It's nice and punchy, it's natural, the lighting is good, the HDR is good, and um, overall I'm I'm pretty happy with the UHD 40. So I hope those color settings and, um, you know, uh, overall settings help you guys. Okay, thanks very much.